So this is just going to be a quick tutorial on the Thardis Hop. I found a pretty consistent setup. Uh, it's pretty precise and it's mostly visual based. I'll be popping up the visual lineups I'm looking for here and holding them for a second. And I'll go over it a bit more in the second time through. This first time through I'm doing it with the numbers shown, the uh, positions shown. Uh, left to right you have a whole lot of leeway. It's about five units, in-game units. I'm showing a lot up here. Um, forward to backwards it's only about a half half a unit's worth of space you have to play with there uh, you're just holding l the whole time getting that lineup angle lineup hopping up here getting your position lineup once you have your position lineup holding r and l both and just pause buffering i like to do it with the map you can do it with the uh, pause screen but just pause buffering advancing forward a couple frames at a time until you get a damage boost once you get the damage boost you have eight frames to input a b press doesn't matter which of those frames you input the B press on, it will always make it. Um, and timing between damage boosts is three seconds and one frame. It's 181 frames between knockbacks, if anyone wants to know that. So as you can see here, we get a, an angle lineup by looking at this little crevice here, and we'll get another zoom in on it in a second. Right there. So that's the angle lineup you're looking for. You want to be as close as that as you can. Any difference in that uh, will lead to um, the front and backwards lineup not actually working effectively. And then we line up that little damage indicator with this kind of square thing stack there. You want to have it right in the middle there. And again, that's it's pretty precise. Like I said, you have about a half unit of leeway there. But once you get that, you're just going to pause buffer through. You could have like a longer pause buffer if you wanted to save some RTA um, but in a game like this where IGT is the only thing that matters pause buffer to your heart's delight and once you get it just get the B button on the next one and you should make it should make Thardis Hop pretty trivial as long as you can get the visual lineup and if you feel like you aren't going to make the visual lineup for the second one you can always bail out um, so I'm just going to run through this again let you guys see it Again, this is three in a row, once using the positions, twice not using the positions. Um, I think this is definitely single segment viable at this point, and I'm going to be putting it into my runs. Um, yeah. I'm going to put a big write-up in the description with all of the exact numbers and stuff I got from my testing. Um, and I'll have links to the pictures of the lineups. So yeah. Happy Thardis hopping, everybody. Have a lovely rest of your, uh, whatever it is, days, evenings, however. Later.